Hi, my name is Brooke Howard. This is Module 4, Video Response. The speech that I watched was titled, Have You No Decency? Which comes from the dialogue between Joseph Welch and Senator McCarthy on June 9, 1954, during the Army McCarthy hearings in Washington, D.C. Mr. Welch's point of his speech is to defend a man named Fred Fisher, who works with him. He's defending him against Senator McCarthy, who is accusing him of being part of the Communist Party. The main points of Mr. Welch's speech are that Senator McCarthy is assassinating the character of Fred Fisher by implying that he is associated with the Communist Party when he has no proof. Mr. Welch displayed how he felt verbally and non-verbally. He did this in many different ways. He displayed this verbally by saying that Senator McCarthy is being a cruel and reckless person, that he is dragging Mr. Fisher's name in the mud. At points in his speech, he also raises his voice. He interrupts the Senator several times, implying that he is upset or angry. Mr. Welch also shows many nonverbal cues while speaking. He shifts in his chair many different times, he shakes his head repeatedly, and he brings his hand to his face three different times. To me, he appears to be very defensive throughout his whole speech. <clears throat> Challenges that I experienced while listening to his speech were trying to pay attention to who was talking. At some points of the speech, there were more than three different speakers, so it was hard to actually pay attention Yay. to Senator McCarthy and Mr. Welch. I think that Mr. Welch did do an effective job on defending himself and defending Mr. Fisher. I think that he got up across his point of his speech that it was not right for Mr. McCarthy to imply this man was a part of the Communist Party without proof. I think that listening to speeches are challenging because you can find them boring if the information is not something you want to listen to or you think is important. Different challenges that I experienced while trying to, while listening to the speech were trying to pay attention. Um, I sometimes have a lot going on around me, so actually focusing on the computer and watching and listening to something it's difficult. <laughs> Another challenge that I experienced while trying to listen to the speech was multitasking. I was trying to listen to my children and listen to the speech, which made it hard at first to focus on the speech. After my husband put them to bed, it was obviously a lot easier for me to focus and hear everything that was being said. I think that that is actually the only activity that was distracting to me that and affected my ability to listen was my children. <laughs> um, I think the best time for me to do schoolwork and not be distracted is when they are asleep. I don't think there are many tasks I can do while I'm trying to listen to something, whether it be someone speaking to me or I'm trying to listen to a lecture or even read something on my own for me to retain the information I have to focus on what I'm listening to and nothing else. I think that's the case for most people though. I don't think that multitasking is a great way to get things done because you don't actually focus on your task at hand. I think the best way to listen is to focus on what you're listening to, pay attention to that and only that, to drown out your distractions, and to do your work or whatever you're listening to or reading alone if necessary to pay attention to the fullest extent.